Hi everybody, welcome back. So it's me again. I have another craft. I didn't want to neglect this playlist because I've been busy doing my paranormal vlogs. If you haven't watched them, check them out. They're uh, below my review playlist. It's the, it should be the third playlist down. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that now so you can see all my new videos as well as some of my old ones. And please hit the bell for future notifications. But also, most important, I want you to keep checking back because a lot of people told me that they're not getting notifications. So even though you click the bell, which you should be sure to do after you subscribe, make sure that you check back because I put like maybe three, four, sometimes six videos up in different uh, various playlists and people aren't getting them. So, okay, make sure you do that. Also, like, share, and comment. I appreciate it. So now here, what I have for you is a little easy craft. Now you might have seen this if you watched my Halloween haul, my full Halloween haul. This is a ceramic uh, cauldron, obviously, and it's really easy to do. I have an old video that I did maybe two, three years ago. It was a quick video. I wasn't even in it. I think I was just talking or I had written words, basically, but I wanted to update. It's the, it's the same thing, but a little different. Now, you can use plastic and you can get them at any size. I have the small one outside. So outside you might want to use plastic to be careful, but if it's in the house, you can use this. Now the plastic ones you can get anywhere, like at Party City, Walmart, or anywhere else that they have those. They have them everywhere. But this was at the at-home stores. Now if they're out of them, look online at the at-home stores and they might still have some. I know this is the only one I remember seeing there, and I got there early. <laughs> I did my Halloween shopping in September. So I love this one. It's a good size. Now, how you make it lit up, and I'm going to show you with the lights off in a minute. All you need is some green cobwebs. And you can buy a package of them anywhere at spirit stores, uh, Party City, and you want the green one, not the white, because it won't have the same effect. And now you don't have to use the whole package. The package of them, they usually give you a lot more in the green package than they do with the white cobwebs. And I've actually made like three separate bowls with this. One's outside, one's here, and then this one. Because you don't need to use the whole thing. Obviously, if you're using the bigger cauldrons, you're going to need more packages of cobwebs. But all I did was I made like a flap because you're going to want to pick it up because your light source is in there. And the other thing you're going to do is put like a box underneath there or crumpled up newspaper, something to hold your light. So the light that I use is one of these. Now, you can get these mostly anywhere. I got them at my grocery store, and my grocery store is Wegmans, so if you have a Wegmans by you, you will see it in the holiday aisle, you know, where they have all the Halloween stuff and candles. And I like what I like about this is that the on-off button is right here, and you don't really see it, <laughs> but it's right there, and it's great because this lays like that, and I could just go like that instead of having to pick it up, turn it around. You don't have to do that. And it has three settings. So now I don't know if you can see. One's a strobe. Another one's like a yellow steady blinking. And this is the third setting. This is the setting I use because it changes colors. And then I just lift up the flap and I put it in there. And then you want to arrange your cobweb so it looks like it's bubbling over. You might have to pull and stretch and trim some excess off because you don't really, like I say, need a lot. And you want to make it look like it's bubbling. And you could always drip. Now, if you have a plastic one, you could always drip like red candle wax for the plastic ones. Of course, I didn't want to do that here. But with the plastic ones, you could even draw or paint something if you're a good drawer, good artist, and put something that says witches brews well as some Halloween stickers. You can glue 
uh, some spiders or a hand coming out or stick some fingers and eyeballs in there and glue gun them because you will be moving that to do that. So I thought that was an easy way and I'm going to shut the lights off so you can see it in action. And that's what it's going to look like. And you can arrange this. I messed with it so it's so you know it so it looks even and all puffy and looks good in the dark. So I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera so you can get a look. I put it on a little candle stand and I made like with little witches potion bottles and and like I said you might have to adjust your cobweb so it looks like it's bubbling you might want to make it puffy and that's it it's like a green blinking cloud it's quick it's easy it's affordable and you don't have to use a ceramic one. You can use uh, the plastic ones, like I said, and decorate it any way that you you want to decorate it. I like that one. I, I prefer the ceramic one in the house and the plastic outside because anything can happen. Wind can knock it over and it's safer. So that's all you have to do. Um, like I said, if you get a bigger one, you will have to get a few more cobwebs, but fill it up with a box or something. You don't have to like fill the whole thing uh, with cobwebs. So yeah, so yeah, go ahead and try that. It's simple and it doesn't take more than five minutes to do. Okay, well, I hope you like that quick and easy affordable craft and I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.